It's a chilly November in a Baltimore ghetto. Here, honey, you take these books and go to that door right over there. And Barry, you take these books. I am 10 you years old, right bundled up in my jacket. I'm about to persuade a total stranger to give me money. In my trembling right hand is a weapon, a pamphlet filled with color photos of starving third world children. In my left hand is an offering can with the word in gathering printed on it. Can I help you? I'm a little missionary trying to see my part. I'm not just knocking at your door, I'm knocking at your heart. And if you the man continues to stare at me, then his lips tighten, and, and I realize and he's trying to, to conceal yeah. a grin. Okay. Cecily, bring my bill for it, please. Okay, hon. Who's this? Just a little missionary. As I threaded my way through my childhood housing project, I quickly learned that in order to thrive and sometimes even survive, I needed Thank to you. learn something about Thank persuasion. You. You're welcome. From the pain of romantic breakup, I found Brenda and the blessing of her durable love. But as married couples know, this kind of love doesn't always come easily. Brenda and I traveled a rather bumpy road to romance. Once when she and I were traveling together from Alabama to Michigan, we stopped at a restaurant for breakfast. Barry, I'm about to get some orange juice. Would you mind catching a waitress' attention for me? For oh, sure, Brenda. Thank you. Ma'am, may I trouble you for a glass of orange juice? Sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, thank you, Barry. You're so sweet. I would have done it for a beggar. It's no big deal. What did you say? No matter how many Brenda let me explain, and I didn't mean it like that, I offered. My stupid, thoughtless remark banished me to the doghouse for a long time. This taught me a very important lesson. Barry, shift your brain into gear before putting your mouth into motion. Early in my military career, a colleague approached me with an unusual suggestion. Pastor, how you doing? Chaplain Black. Good to see you, good to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. I was in the neighborhood, figured I'd come by and check you out. How's the family doing? Oh, very well, Brenda's doing awesome. I've been hearing a lot of great things about you in the Navy. If you want to continue to move to the top, you need to consider Change the denominations. I don't choose my church like an ice cream flavor. You don't understand what I'm saying. You can continue to embrace the same denominational theology. I'm talking about a ministry of leverage. You'd be more competitive with a mainline church designation. Thanks for the tip. I think not. Before the military selection board met and selected me for admiral, the same minister friend called to me. You'd never be selected as admiral. If you only had taken my advice years ago and changed denominations, you'd be more competitive right now. But you just wouldn't listen. You just don't know my God. Of course I know your God. I don't think so. Not if you think a few minor obstacles will stop him. If he wants me to be admiral, it will happen. After the announcement of my promotion to rear admiral, I received a message on my voicemail from this friend. Barry, when you get a chance, would you please introduce me to your God? Later, the same friend would lay odds that the Senate would not soon select a black man for its chaplain. I thought he had a point. After all, since 1789, when the first Senate chaplain was selected, no African American had ever served in that position. Come in. Here are those documents you asked for, Senator. Thank you, Jess. But in spite of its improbability, God's plans and purposes prevailed. Hello, this is Chaplain Black. Barry, this is Senator Bill Frist. Good afternoon, sir. I want to extend to you the invitation to become the 62nd Chaplain of the United States Senate. Now, I know you may need to think about this and discuss it with your wife. Senator, I don't have to think about that. I enthusiastically accept your generous invitation. Well, that's good news. That's good news indeed. You have a good day, Barry. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Hello? Baby, it's happened. What's happened? You're married to the Senate chaplain. Really? 